Hi everyone. Welcome back to Art Lovers class. Today this is what we're going to create. And I did a couple of paintings for you just so you can see that you cannot duplicate any kind of painting, but you can create your own. I did this other one, it's very similar but not identical. So give it your own flavor. And what I have done is this black canvas, I coated it with Flow Aid. If you have never used it, I highly recommend it because this helps you make your paint mix nicely without struggling. You can use water, of course, because we are using acrylic paint, but this makes it very nice and easy. And it's Liquitex and it's Flow Aid. And it, it takes quite a while to dry, so it helps you mix your paint very nicely. And what we're going to start using is blue and red to create a nice um, dark lavender on the first half of the canvas. So I, and I'm using a one inch scruffy brush. And just scrub it. You just want to cover the entire canvas and make a nice purplish and for the bottom half you want to do only blue because this, this is going to be called the uh, blue lake This painting is extremely easy. And I know the canvas is black, so you can hardly see what we're doing, but that's the beauty of it. And when you think you have your entire canvas nicely covered, you can stop. And remember, the, the top half of your canvas is red and blue, and the bottom is only blue. And the reason for that is because your red and blue is going to turn into a lavender pretty color. And I used a one inch brush, but your next brush can be a half inch or a, another clean one inch brush. I'm going to go with a quarter inch and we go to white. And we'll start in the very center. I always wet my, cap, my brushes, uh, but dry them as much as I can so they're not so stiff. So you go straight to white and start in the center. And it will start mixing with your red and blue. And of course, the center should be your brightest point. And then you can just start going sideways. And if you get too light, add red and blue from the outside in you just want your center as bright as possible that's your light source and just brush it as much as you want remember you have either water or that uh Flow Aid to help you mix your painting and see how easy it is, how smooth the transition is from one color to another. And you can work on this forever until you're satisfied. If you think your center is not bright enough, go ahead and add more white. 
But remember, if you mixed it with other colors, go back and wash it. And I think that's bright enough. I'm happy with that. So now we can start working on the land. And on the land, you start with the dirty brush that we use for the sky. It still has red, blue. Now we're going to add yellow. Just a little bit, just to get a dark, nice dark green. And you're going to, the way you angle your brush is how you determine the lay of the land. If you angle it like this, it's coming downhill. If you do your brush straight, it's straight land. And that's what you want in the middle, straight land. And make it as dark as possible, then the highlights will really show up. And we're going to make a couple of uh, points. It depends on the size of your canvas is how much room you have to make a nice big lake. I, I went with an 8 by 10 so we can make a short video instead of uh, boring you to death. So the next step will be to make um, nice little bushes that are far, far away. And you use a very small brush or it can be the same big brush but with a tip and I'll show you how. We're going to do far away trees and just use the very tip. And like I told you, it will never be the same as that one painting. You're just placing your trees. You can come back and do the highlights later. And you can do as many as you want. But don't get overboard and don't make them too big. This is a nice peaceful lake. We'll bring the highlights later. But for now, those are your placement of your trees. You can do more if you want to, but I'm happy with that. And I have a little pencil here to do my the trunk of the trees. And believe it or not, just scratching that, it just makes you believe those are trunks. Because you're removing the paint. And that's all you need to do. And you can create little scruffy bushes here and there. We will bring the highlights in a minute. Okay. Now we're going to bring the highlights on the grassy area on the far away. Remember, the way you hold your brush is how you do the lay of the land. And leave some dark spaces. And I only put the yellow or the highlight on the very tip. There is no yellow anywhere else. So only on the very tip. And, and it's a very light touch. And there again, I, I start going on an angle. And if you want to create little um, areas of uh, banks or rocks, you can do that just with a little bit of brown and just add a little bit of brown here and there. 
it just makes it look interesting. And also the, uh, what calls the water right here, the bank. And then you come with a little bit of white just to mix it, just so it shows. Remember, you need dark to show light. Same thing here on your rocks, just a, a very, very light touch. Remember, the way you hold your brush is the angle of the lamp. Now we can uh, bring the lake to life. We're going to add a little bit of white to our brush. Bring down the highlight straight down. Try to do it as straight as possible. Clean your brush and go across. That will give you the shimmering look that you need. And brush it as many times as you want. And if it got too dark, go back and just put white on the very tip and just bring it down again. And we'll bring the water lines um, at the very end. Okay, now we can uh, continue coming forward. Let's create another little land right here. So we'll go back to our green and blue just to make it nice and dark. I'll hold it up a little bit. We'll go right here. and just create another little land. And maybe right here too, just. Just add in the green and, and the dark green, just to create the uh, place where you're going to do your little island. Now we can create little bushes, either with the same brush or a little bit smaller, like a half inch. Excuse me, be right back. Oh, I already had one, sorry. Something like this, this size. Wet it, dry it. It green on the bottom and yellow on the top. It's called double loading. See, green and yellow. And the light color is always on the top, but you bounce it on your palette, so mix it a little bit. So we're gonna start creating little bushes. And like I said, the, the light color on the top and just a, a light touch. And just Move it around left to right, and depends on, on how big you want your bushes. I mean, don't go overboard, don't make them too big, and don't let your brush slide, just a touch.
and you can change the flavor of your bushes I mean like on my previous uh, painting I did a little bit of red you don't have to do red you can do purple blue blue and white purple and white um, I think red and yellow uh, stands stands out better so that's what I went with and but it's your choice let's do a couple more on the other side just to bring the painting to light remember don't let it slide just touch touch and reload leave dark colors leave dark areas otherwise your highlights will not show okay and here comes the uh, red I'll do another little one here and the highlights come later maybe another one up here There you go. Now, we'll save this for later without washing it so we can put um, highlights on the red bushes. Okay, next will be to put um, more highlights and bring this nice little bush here and put highlights on those back far away trees. Now you just go back to the yellow with a quarter inch or half inch brush whatever you have and highlight those trees that are far away and usually your high, your light source comes from the center so you only highlight the left side of the trees and just the light touch too much will be too much And the bottom should usually be darker than the top. So if you put too much on the bottom, just lightly touch it with your finger. It washes off. Now we're going to the biggest tree. There. They're far away trees, so they shouldn't stand out too much. Now, these little bushes need their highlights on their right side because the light comes from the center. And there you have it. Now, let's uh, create a nice, uh, let me do a, a little bit of a taller bank right here. You know, you can change your painting as you go you don't have to copy me you you can just create your own and this is inspired by Bob Ross's paintings he is my mentor I have been watching his videos forever I think I have memorized every one of them he even helps me sleep better every night listening to his beautiful voice all right so now let's put a bank on this side of these little islands with a little bit of brown before we come forward so a little bit of brown doesn't have to be straight because it's, those are like banks so you can put them in an angle and then bring a little bit of white for highlights And just make them rough, uneven, and there you go. That's all you need. Wash it. Okay, now we're going to move forward to... Put a little bit of brown here for a bank. A little bit of white to make it stand out. A 
at all. Okay, now let's put a nice, nice big tree right here or a bush. We go to, with the liner. Go to brown. I'm going to do mine right here in the corner. It doesn't show very much, but we will once we put a little bit of white. And remember to shake a little bit. A little shaking, that's what makes them interesting. And we can bring a couple of uh, little scruffy dead bushes right here, just to make it interesting. Just a couple. You can put just one there or one over here or none. Totally up to you. It's just to create an interest and depth. This is very simple and peaceful and interesting. I hope you like it. And I hope you do create one and please show me what you did. I would love to see what you have created. Okay, now we're gonna put highlights in, or create the, the tree right here. And that's with the same old one inch brush that we started with. And we go to the green and blue. Just to do the foliage. And don't let it slide, just a little bit. Nothing on the bottom, these are just dead little twigs. So now we go to the highlights and go above the green and blue. That's the only way it's gonna show your highlights. And turn your brush around so it doesn't have the same pattern. We can do a little bit of more highlights on the trunk so it stands out a little bit more. Now let's do the water lines. You can do, it, do them either with a liner or a flat brush, whatever is easiest for you. If, you. if you can manage the flat brush to go across, I would recommend that. And what you do, you just, you just put the paint just on the very tip. And Hold your brush horizontally and just do a light stroke. And if you got too much paint, just scrub it. I think I'm gonna go with a liner. I'm, my lines are too fat. Canvas is on an angle, so I'm having a little hard time doing my straight lines, but I hope you can do better at home. And 
if you wet your liner and uh, do like fast long strokes is probably better well I sure hope you like this tutorial look forward to showing you more in the future in fact I have one that I already planned let me give this a little bit of highlights Our next step is to highlight those red bushes. Don't let me forget. And that's gonna be the red and a touch of yellow, just to make them stand out. Remember, don't let it slide, just light touch. And only on the top, that's all you need. And there you have it. I hope you like it. And if you do create one, please post it. I would love to see it and uh, see you in the next tutorial, which will be this one here. Look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you for watching it.